Hey guys, Artelect here. This is the Brother AX25 electronic typewriter, released in the late 1980s. It uses a daisy wheel mechanism developed in the 1970s to print text, like many other electronic typewriters. It also has a 16 character LCD that lets you edit documents stored in its 8 kilobytes of storage. Nowadays, with easy access to text editors on nearly any device with a screen, a typewriter isn't that useful, so I've been working on modifying mine to turn it into a computer. This is my Brother AX25 electronic typewriter. It's still a work in progress, but I've ironed out most of the major issues it's been having. My typewriter is connected to a breadboard circuit with two multiplexers controlled by an Arduino Uno. The Arduino is connected to a Raspberry Pi over serial, and it's also connected to my laptop with a USB cable. This lets me use my typewriter as a Linux terminal. First I'll show off the Linux terminal's quirks and features, and later I'll break down how I got this all working. I'll go ahead and plug in the Raspberry Pi so I can show you around the terminal. So there we go, there's the typewriter's login prompt. Since I don't have a keyboard attached to the Arduino yet, I'm using the Arduino IDE's serial monitor to send inputs to it from my laptop. I'm not sure why everything the Arduino sends to the Raspberry Pi gets typed incorrectly, but it receives all the commands just fine, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Now that I'm logged in, I have access to a nearly fully functional Linux terminal. You can do nearly anything you'd want to do in a terminal with this. However, since paper isn't made out of pixels, there's no way to use full screen terminal commands like vim, emacs, or nano. For now, I'll just create a file using the command touch test.txt. And I can list the contents of the current directory with ls. Now let's say I want to edit test.txt. Normally I'd use vim, but I can't use that. Luckily, Unix was originally designed for use on teletypes, so I can use ed, a line-based editor, to edit it. So I just type ed test.txt, and then I can enter insert mode by pressing A and then enter, and I'll type hello world and hit enter. And to exit insert mode, I just type period and enter, and then type WQ and enter to save and quit. Now I can output the file to the command line using cat test.txt. And there we go, hello world. And just for fun, let me show you what happens when I try to use a full screen command. I'll try top, for example. And yeah, you get the idea, it just keeps on going, and keeps on beeping. Since the typewriter types much slower than the communication rate between the Arduino and Raspberry Pi, long messages from it get cut off, and this makes printing ASCII art somewhat difficult, but I can just write some Arduino code to manually print out the art. I don't want to make any super big ASCII art until I get a replacement ribbon for my typewriter, but here it is printing out a piece of art I found on ASCIIart.eu. It's pretty cool being able to hold a piece of ASCII art. Let me know in the comments if there's any other ASCII art that you'd like to see my typewriter create, or any other commands you'd like to see me try out. Now that I've shown you what it can do, I'll walk you through what it's taken me to get to this point. I had a similar idea to this years ago, where I'd take a typewriter and turn it into a computer. Originally I decided I wanted to replace the typewriter mechanism with a screen, but somewhere along the line I decided I wanted to keep the mechanism and use that as the main method for displaying text. The typewriter connects to the keyboard using two flexible connectors. One has 8 pins and the other has 11. These pins are wired up in an 8x11 matrix, and you can follow where the traces go from each key to find out which pair of pins it corresponds to. When you press down a key, it connects to that pair of pins, and the typewriter detects that those two pins are connected. Instead of following each trace to every key on the keyboard, I decided to connect each pair of pins together one by one, and then write down what key it thinks was pressed, so I could determine what the keyboard's matrix is. I then assigned each key a key code from 0 to 87, to make the programming a little easier later on. Once I had this spreadsheet that shows which row and column each key is in, I wired up two multiplexers, one for each connector. And the multiplexer's signal pins are connected, so we can connect a pair of pins by selecting a channel on each multiplexer. 
The Arduino is connected to a Raspberry Pi with a voltage divider in the middle to convert the Arduino's 5 volt output to 3.3 volts to prevent the Raspberry Pi from getting damaged. Here's the circuit diagram for what I've built so far. Once I had the circuit built and the keyboard's matrix mapped out, I could start programming the Arduino. Here's my code. It's up on GitHub if you'd like to take a closer look at it. Link in the description below. I need to clean it up a bit, but it works, so that's a problem for future me to solve. There's a couple of arrays that make controlling the multiplexers easier, and one big array that I use to convert from ASCII characters to the typewriter's key codes. I'm using the software serial library to add a second serial port to the Arduino, and the setup configures both serial ports and all the pins to control the multiplexers. In the loop, the Arduino waits for input from the Raspberry Pi in my laptop. When it receives something from the Raspberry Pi, it types it and sends it to my laptop. When it receives something from my laptop, it sends it to the Raspberry Pi. The rest of the code is just a bunch of helper functions that made writing the previous sections much easier. It's a bit of a mess right now, but I'm going to clean it up and turn it into a proper library so it can be extended to other typewriters. So far, I've really enjoyed working on this project. I'm slowly ironing out all the kinks, and I hope to eventually turn it into a fully functioning computer. My next step is going to be hooking up a keyboard to the Arduino so I don't have to use another computer to control it. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest of the videos I make about this project. See you next time.